Hey guys, this is Micah with Blue Roots Media and Marketing, and today we're going to do a tutorial on removing the main vocals on a track in Adobe Audition. This is a little bit different than what I normally do, um, but I was asked to uh, make this video. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to open. We'll find out where our music is in our iTunes library. Then we're going to go ahead and select a track. Um, this is a um, track that I worked on when I was in Mississippi. As you can tell, there's vocals. Or there is vocals. Alright. This is by an a, a old blues legend, legend in um, Mississippi uh, called Bobby Rush. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll click. We have an effects rack right here. We'll go ahead and we'll click on this little image, this little arrow on the side. Stereo imagery, center channel extractor. Um, click OK. Then just go ahead and we're going to click on remove vocal voices. And then if you play, the vocals aren't there anymore. And then click on the X up here. Make sure to apply it. It'll take a second. And go ahead and play. No uh, no vocals in this track. Except what would be the back background vocals. So then what we do is we click on export. File. And we're going to select where we want it. I'm going to put it on my desktop. We'll go ahead and it'll automatically add that one on there. We're going to click OK. We'll click Yes. It wants to make sure that we back up. It'll process. And then there we go. We're done. When you close out, make sure you do not save it because it will um, affect the original track and so if you're planning on listening to that track with vocals then you're not going to be able to do that so I'm going to do this one more time I'm going to go click on open I'm going to select the track we'll do blind snake it'll process it we're going to click on this arrow on their effects rack and I'm working in the um, master mastering and analyzing um, setup Stereo imagery, center channel extractor, click OK. Then we're going to, it already has it selected because um, I have, I that's typically what I've been using lately. Exit, um, click play, nothing but vocals. Now here's something cool, if I click off this button, his vocals are going to come back. Cut it back on. It's just like if you were using like a soundboard or something, you mute or if you're using like multi track. All right, go ahead, apply. Then we're going to go to file, we'll export this file. I have the desktop selected. Make sure that you have this at least a 480, 4800. You can go higher if you want to for better quality, but 4800 is normally the standard. Um, it just makes it sound better. Um, then you can click OK. And you can also do, let me show you this, um, you can also do Wave. Um, a quick time movie track, different formats and stuff like that. But um, traditionally, we'll just I'm going to stick with MP3. You click OK. Um, yes. It'll count it down for you. Then I'll be on your desktop. And then all you go ahead and you do is you click close. You'll click yes. I mean, no, you'll click no. So, oops. So close. Um, no, because you don't want to affect the original um, track. No, and then there you go. Um, I hope this has um, helped you today. Um, 
this is, you know, like I tell every video, create something and check out our website, www.blue-rootsmarketing.com or on Facebook at facebook.com slash blue roots mm. Subscribe, like the channel. And if you have any suggestions in Adobe Audition that you would like to see, or if you have another video su suggestion like an Illustrator or Photoshop, let me know. Have a great day.